Hey friends and family, this is Veronica. Thank you for joining me for my daily scent of the day video. I have recently posted two videos that are part of a beach dream series now that it's June and we're starting to lift out of lockdown uh, here in 2021 out of the COVID cave, if you will. One of the videos is focused on fragrances that have a heavy coconut note or prominent coconut note. And then the other one um, that's posted is focused on tropical florals, which are fragrances that have either yellow flowers or some white flowers that we typically associate with um, the tropics or if put in a certain kind of composition will remind us of the tropics. There's a third video coming that uh, reminds me of, has fragrances that remind me of suntan lotion and a fourth one around uh, marine and oceanic kinds of scents. This fragrance today, my scent of the day today, is one that could have been in either the Tropical Florals video, maybe even the Sunblock one, not sure, but it is Atelier Desor Nuda Veritas. Now, let me quickly say for all of my uh, wonderful viewers who speak French, and thank you. You all are so patient with our mispronunciations of these names. I promise you we're all trying really hard. I have um, spoken Spanish and the way that you would pronounce this in Spanish is very different. In Spanish, you pronounce all of the letters for the most part. So it would be des ors and it would be atelier. So you sort of have to retrain your brain to think in a different way as you're looking at these different pronunciations. I am not trained to speak French, but I appreciate all of the comments that viewers leave with tips about how to pronounce things. Thank you. They are super helpful. I appreciate it. This fragrance here is one that I learned about through Lulu, who is a fellow YouTuber. I'll link her below. She did a video that focused on fragrances that have a tiara flower note, and I, I love the tiara note it is such a pretty um sweet lovely uh just super fragrant note for me i really enjoy it and i saw this bottle and got intrigued now i have heard of through of this line atelier des because lune feline from this line has recently been super popular here on um on youtube and while i haven't Felt inclined to pick that one up yet. I was intrigued by this series. These bottles are quite luxurious with this etching on the back. These fairly um, hefty tops here. They, they, it looks like just plastic on the camera, but it's not. It's a pretty, it's a pretty substantial top. Very, very heavy with the magnetic cap. Um, and these bottles come with some gold flex, real gold flex in them, which is just an, you know, an interesting novelty kind of thing. This fragrance has main accords of white floral, fresh citrus, floral, zonic, and some others. I do get a heavy white floral. I get a fresh feeling from this and I get the ozonic thing for sure. It was launched in 2018, so it's still relatively new. It has top notes of cologne, which I have recently um, here in my fragrance journey learned is an artificial note that mimics the way that ocean air smells. It can also come across smelling like watermelon, which is really quite cool. It has orange blossom at the top and bergamot. Um, and I would say that it opens up very fresh and fruity sweet really really right away i don't get a lot of like bergamot in there the middle is this gorgeous jasmine sambac chinese jasmine osmanthus and that tiara flower it is a sweet floral in the middle a very round sort of luscious creamy floral in the middle base notes are ambroxan Tejitas, which is basically marigold, and you see that in the thumbnail behind the, the bottle. Uh, ambrette, or musk mallow, which lends this um, musky sweetness to it. Patchouli and some oak moss. So I want to read to you a little bit from the description here on Fragrantica that I think is really an interesting description from the perfumer. Now, you know, <laughs> these are part of the advertisements from the perfumer. And they're a bit outlandish, but I love it nonetheless. It says, an indelible lightness of being 
lies at the heart of Nuda Veritas. Nuda Veritas, by the way, means naked truth. The beginning of a spiritual quest for the search of happiness. The perfume unfolds with a delicate floral heart of jasmine and osmanthus encased in layers of textural whiteness, full of hope and yearning. Humanity is connected to the earth and minerals through hints of moss. We look to the sky and seek the naked truth laid bare in a transparent watery haze with hints of patchouli and gentle caress of ambroxan. A serene moment, simple and true. That is so poetic. Whoever wrote that needs a raise. It's quite the description. Uh, does that this fragrance bring all of that to mind for me? I wouldn't go that far. I would say that this is a very nice fragrance with, like I said, a creamy floral um, middle and a little bit of earthiness in the base, but very slight. When it's called Nuda Veritas, Naked Truth, when I think of the word naked applied to fragrances, I think of fragrances that are maybe kind of stripped of a lot of um, excess surround of notes. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's almost like you get the essence of what the perfumer was trying to get at versus a very complex composition that has layers and layers of notes um, creating this <clears throat> really complicated picture. This is a fairly simple fragrance in the sense that it is fresh, it is floral, it does give me hints of ocean air, very, very slight. It's not salty in any way, it's on the sweet side. Um, and it's a light fragrance. The freshness comes through mostly. I will also say about this fragrance that sprayed on skin, it's one of those fragrances, if you stick your nose too close to your skin, it may smell slightly sour or different or off or something. So my advice for this would be to spray and allow the fragrance to waft up to your nose in the same way that it would for someone that is standing near you. They're not likely going to be sticking their nose straight onto your skin unless they are a significant other, of course. Uh, for the most part, they're going to be getting what's wafting off of your skin. And this is so pleasant uh, wafting off of the skin. It's one that I think does well also on clothing because it retains sort of the pure nature of the fragrance without meshing with your specific skin chemistry. I really do think this is a light fragrance. I think it is a sweet fragrance. What I call it white, this encased in layers of textural whiteness. I don't know that I would call it white. I would call it like almost cashmere-ish <clears throat> in its texture, especially in the middle with the florals coming together. Like I said, with that sort of hammock of earthy <clears throat> notes um, cradling those uh, florals in the middle but very slightly. The florals are the star of the show in this fragrance and they're light and mature and uh, girly and pretty. And I really, really like this. Atelier de Zor, Nuda Veritas, definitely appropriate for a summer fragrance. Wish I had remembered to put it in the videos that I'm posting. Please go uh, check those out as well. Like I said, part three and four will be posting soon. I hope that you all have a very productive and blessed day. Take care, my friends.